Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today, uh, today's entertainment is going to be provided by Chubby Removal, who um, has a good tendency to correct me when I'm talking nonsense, and uh, is from the Ascension Clan, and he's playing today in his Hakuryu, the tier 10 Japanese carrier, in an almost all-out tier 10 game. He's, uh, he's teamed up with a Z-52, and the enemy team has a Haku as well, a Monty, a Wooster. So there is some AA on the enemy team, and he has um, uh, he does have uh, some opposition there, let me put it this way. So, let's see how this turns out. They are playing on fault line in Domination, which means uh, Triple Cup. With three destroyers on the enemy team, uh, so, sorry, with three destroyers on their team, that could get interesting. So his uh, his teammate spawns over at A, and um, he's moving slightly forward, starting to send the uh, st send the planes out for an early scout, and just gets the fighters going for for starters, then the dive bombers and the torpedo bombers, and uh, yeah, moves moves the carrier carefully forward towards one of the islands. The other carrier is scouting towards C, so he's setting over his he's sending over his fighters to intercept. Uh, and let's see if we can at least catch the torpedo bombers and provide some fire support because I'm not sure what that cruiser is but that destroyer over at sea is probably not in good shape. Okay, enemy gearing is spotted, so first customer. Uh, he uh, drops, some, drops some bombs onto it and uh, tries to torpedo drop him but the gearing is turning in so um, he's probably not going to take too much damage from that. Uh, two torpedoes and a flooding. Uh, so that should be sustainable for the gearing. They're holding A, and the destroyers are there in a defensive position because there's a cruiser, and uh, that's a Wooster. So if you're in a destroyer, you do not want to get anywhere near that thing. Uh, meanwhile, he's trying to get some f to get to do something about the enemy fighters, but they're holding two caps right for now, so that's not a bad thing, not a bad start. They've got their own Wooster going on here, shredding the uh, enemy fighters, and um, not much of the enemy team is spotted really. There's a battleship. Okay, that's a core first. Very flammable. There's a Wooster. You do not want to attack into that. So uh, the problem, obviously, for the for his team's destroyers is uh, well that there's a Wooster over there. <laughs> so uh, probably would have been good for them to just uh, fight fight a delaying action and just uh, maintain the cap rather than trying to be aggressive against the Wooster. But um, it looks like his teammate is actually going uh, both uh, both destroyers are actually going in aggressively. So that might end up badly for them, especially if there's any kind of carrier support. And there is a bunch of that, uh, torpedo bombers coming out. Uh, gearing and Worcester is not something you want to be pushing. So he sends his fighters over to try and intercept these torpedo bombers. And the Z-52 is in deep trouble because he's got a gearing and he's broadsiding a Worcester and he's got torpedoes coming in. So um, that is not going to look good. Let's see if he can survive the drop. Uh, I think he dodged all but one, but the Worcester takes him out. So... Um, that's one destroyer down. Uh, they've sunk one destroyer in the enemy team as well. So he's just moving as closely as he can without getting detected. Uh, and um, uh, tries to do something about this uh, this core first. Now this core first is all by himself. He doesn't have any... He's not been super useful really, I think, at this point. Because he hasn't really done... C controlled um, the cap or anything. And the cap's been all this time under Chubby Removal's team's control. So he's pushing forward. Okay, that's a fire on the core first. He's under air attack, so he's not putting out a single fire. And uh, there comes the torpedo drop. That's uh, a flood. And uh, drop's done. And that's probably when he's going to damage con. I don't know. Maybe his damage con's on cooldown, but it looks like that's a perma flood and a perma fire. So uh, enemy carrier obviously has, has realized that he needs to do some air support. So um, again, Chubby Removal trying to, to deal with his... Um, uh, to do what he can with his fighters. Uh, Okay, it looks like we're getting we're getting back uh, we're getting back a cup, but the Kurfürst is pushing uncomfortably close, and his carrier is now spotted, so he's in reverse. But the Kurfürst is damage controlled, so if he can set him on fire or put some floods in, that should do the trick. Um, that's a that's a dangerous angle to go from because uh, but he's quite busy with his fighters at the same time, thinking about dropping him from the right. But it looks like the Kurfürst is pushing through. And that thing does not have a uh, the capability of stopping very easily, so um, I'm not sure why the Kufus isn't shooting at him. But um, that's another fire and another flood. It looks like uh, one of the torpedo drops missed, maybe. I've seen some torpedoes passing by, but that's a big caliber. 
and uh, she should flood out. Yeah, there, there she goes. Okay, now the problem is that they've lost B cup. Um, they're both three ships down, but they need B cup back. Now the enemy Hakurio is going after Chubby removal here. Uh, because he probably doesn't have, really have anything else useful to shoot at other than these cruisers over there. And you don't really want to start going after cruisers if you don't have to, especially if they're American. There's a Monty. Um, given that there's nothing else here to see, uh, they do need the cutback. And I think, Chubby Removal, you're the only one who can do this. <laughs> because you're the only one over there who is actually in the proximity of the cup. So, uh, given that the Monty is kind of the only target at this point, um, he decides to, uh, well, start attacking the Monty. And there is, an, is a veritable midway-sized air battle going on here. <laughs> oh, oh, low health destroyer spotted. Uh, redirect your dive bombers. There's a Fletcher with almost no health. Uh, but it looks like the Fletcher is going to be dead. Uh, yeah, so you can, use the, you can keep using the torpedo bombers on the Monty. Uh, Monty is dodging some torps coming in from the other side. They're both down to three ships, but they they're about to lose A cup. And um, I think... Uh, yeah, you're going to have to cap B because otherwise you are you are only 30 points behind. There's the enemy Haku. So it's Haku versus Haku right now. <laughs> Time for brawling. Unpack the secondaries. Load the high explosive. <laughs> fire away. Okay, he's still uh, still working with his fighters. I would have at this point just used the secondaries um, because you're definitely in range at this stage. So uh, he's pulling in the fighters, trying to do something about the enemy planes. Uh, he's obviously getting attacked as well. Yeah, there you go. Okay, start opening up at this thing. Double fire from the secondaries. Beautiful. Uh, is he damage conning that or is, he, is it going to be perma? Um, there come the torpedo drops from the enemy Haku. That hurt. And he's on flood. Uh, he's taking the second drop and then he controls while sending out his own. So the, Haku, the enemy Haku seems to have control. So if he can flood him, that'd be a perma flood. And get back to the to the guns. There we go. Perma flood on the enemy Haku. Okay. You keep using the secondaries uh, until your planes are back on uh, and reloaded. And uh, he's nicely angled. That's a perma fire on the enemy Haku. But um, they are now one ship down and two cups down. There's the Witherer Award. 145,000 damage. I don't think they can still win, win that, especially if that Monty gets a shot at him. He's on 13,000 health. Uh, enemy Haku is burning. He's on low health. There come the Monty shells. Ooh, that could have been worse, but he's on 4,800 health. Can he kill the enemy Haku still? 4-4, four, 4-2, four, four, two, 2,000. And the Haku kills him. And he takes out the enemy Haku, reaches back from the grave and gets his revenge. So, uh, valiant effort here. Valiant effort. Um, 157,000 damage. <sighs> and you still lost. <laughs> But um, he gets, what does he get? Uh, he, he probably gets all the medals. That is a very deserved MVP on a loss in the Hakuryu with 157,000 damage. And brawled an enemy Haku as well. If he wasn't under, if he didn't get under fire from the Monty, then they could have actually, he could have actually killed the enemy Haku and um, capped that but it probably still wouldn't have been enough because there was no way he was going to kill the Montana in the time that was remaining. Uh, Vengeance, Battlestar, Clear Skies, Withera, High Caliber, 150,000 damage, two, two ship kills, 39 plane kills. Um, that is absolutely stunning. <laughs> and uh, well-deserved. Now, uh, you you try to carry your team as much as you could, but there was just no way that you were going to win this one. And it's just 2,000 damage short of the world record in the Hakurio, which stands at 159,802 points. My goodness. <laughs> you must have sweated, been sweating bullets at this thing. Uh, well done. Thank you for sending that one in. That was amazing to watch. And um, I, I am sorry for your loss. And you got so close to actually holding the, uh, the world record for this thing. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye.